Hi there, it's me, Agil Torson, with... Viking Bluggy Magnuson. Hi. And it's an overcomment reading video with two Vikings. Yeah, and I'll be reading them out, so... Uh, oh, yes. Be patient. So let's jump straight into the comments, and here's your first comment. And this is from the Bolsfast Viking, Martin Brown. Hi, Martin. And talking about knapsacks, I bought an old wicker washing basket for £2, and I'm making it into a carry pack so I can carry my Viking blankets and dry clothes dry clothes in. I'm using hemp rope tied to the handles and to carry it. It's nowhere near as good as my really expensive wicker pack, which I carry all my food, um, food, iron, cook pot and bowls in, but it'll do for now. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well done, Martin. <laughs> I mean, it's easy to say, oh, you know, you. You've spent time, you've thought it out, and trying to reproduce stuff isn't as easy as people think. No. Yeah, it's a bit more than nylon tights and knitted chain mail. There's a lot more behind it, and well done, Martin, more strength to your arm. Yeah, and I think uh, wicker baskets and wicker items mm. are very underused in reenactment, and they're very diverse from, you know, the Bronze Age up to, really, World War II, well, if you I think about it. I remember when I was at primary school, we made the wicker basket, and it was great fun. It is, and it's a very diverse material. Mm. So the next comment here is from Treve Tales, that one there. Treve Tales, hi, Egil, I appreciate you suggesting... We sit down with something to eat while you tell the story. Once you started describing the food, I felt quite mm. peckish. Thankfully, I was eating my lunch as I listened. Well, trees, it's relaxing. That's what it's about. And the old tradition, you know, sitting by the fire. And when they were telling things like Beowulf, the storyteller would go, What? Which meant, Oi, shut up, listen. And sit down and be comfortable. Is I remember as a child I used to watch a program, uh, listen to a program on the radio called Listen with Mother, and they'd say, "Are you sitting comfortably?" Then I'll begin. Yes, it's a good way to start. Yeah, and again, it sort of settles you down. You can focus on what's being said. Forget hmm. about what's going on. It's something we learn to do over hmm. time. You know, you don't have to think about telling folks to sit down and relax and enjoy yeah. the content. So it's important we do that. So I'll just read the next comment, and this comes from Thomas Dale. Hi, Tom. And it says, "Ah, oh, good old Jack. He could climb a beanstalk to defeat a giant, and also tumble down a hill with Jill. Not many know that he could eat no fat, but thankfully his wife could eat no lean. Jack's bright, yeah. So they could finish any meal prepared for them both. Yeah. And I think Jack, you know, the old folk tales about Jack is very interesting. Mm. And perhaps that's where we get the saying, Jack of all trades, perhaps, mm. you know? Well, this is, I mean, they usually have a, a, a meaning. I mean, it's like Tommy Atkins, Jack Tarr. Yeah. Robin Hood. Yes. Um, people go on about Robin Hood. Well, it was a generic term for outlaws, apparently. And, of course, that's Jack of Kent. Yeah. So, so, let's have a look. Ah, here's another comment for you from Thomas Dale, that little short one. Thomas Dale. At least there are no naughty comments so far about manhandling a bulging sack. Oh, a uh, matron. Well, <laughs> you know, I'll be honest, it never occurred to me, which is rare, because I have the mind like a sewer normally. Uh, but it is a family channel, and we try and clean things up. Potty mouth in real life. <laughs> <laughs> what, me? No, um, be honest, I mean, there's no... Um, we try and clean things up, and some of the sagas, believe you and me, are quite hard to swallow, aren't they? Well, yes, one or two of them, yes. Yeah, and you have to be careful what you say. I mean, even when I used to do schools, I used to do treasure, um, Thor's hammer being stolen by the giants. Good story, that. And I got told it. And I got pulled over the coals because I said a comment, which I never even thought of, about Freya saying that this bloke smelt like fish. Apparently that was offensive. But Next know. comment goes to Tecto Sagas. Hi, Tecto. And Tecto speaks these words. Da -da -da. I love to go wandering along the mountain track. And as I go, I love to sing my knapsack on my back. 
Foldery, 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 with a knapsack on my. I replied. Back. Sorry about that. I had a moment there. Woof. And I, I replied, but I can't get the reply up. But I, I, I think I wrote, I put a knapsack on my back, a musket on my shoulder, and if I ever reach Shiloh, then I'll be a soldier. That depends on whether we're going to let so, you. Next comment from Eirik the Red, our Viking brother. And of course, you're all our Red. Viking brothers and sisters. So. Beautifully told by Eminent One. Uh, who doesn't want a magic knapsack, though? I would. Yeah, I know what you mean. After carrying that bag down today. Yes, he did well carrying that large sack. There were wheels on it, but oi vey. I bet you looked alright, sight so coming down. Well, they thought I was an executive. <laughs> Indeed. Anyway, we have a new comment from a man called Mike. Hi, so, Mike. Hello, Mike, and welcome to the channel. And Mike says, keep uploading. Mm. I think that you deserve way more views. Have you seen Smoosius? If you was, uh, you'd like to... So I say that again. If I was you, I'd use it to help your grow your channel. So I'm not sure about Samusius. I've got to look into that Sounds like a and Roman. see whether it's approved by YouTube first. Is he, is he a Roman? No, he's a man called Mike. All oh, right. I don't know where you come from. No, but, I mean uh, No, no, that's just uh, like a, a a website you can hope to promote your channel. Okay. But YouTube don't always like that. Okay. So are we the next comment? No, you can be the next comment from Tree Tales. Okay, Tree Tales, classic tale of brains winning over brawn. Perhaps because bards were more academics than athletes, they like to tell stories like this. But actual fact, yeah, I mean, I had a pal who is into the Dru Druidic religion, and he was bardic. And he told me a lot about modern day Druidism and what we know about the past. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> They had to recite poetry from memory with having a rock placed on their chest in a river. There is the poison cup they're supposed to drink. All in all, it's pretty hard. You're just not made a druid. And he, he would say, and I'll stand corrected on this, that um, a Merlin was the highest of the druidic orders. Then you had Taliasin. And I don't know whether that's true or not, but if you ever heard him talk to me, he would say things you think are very nasty and hurtful but it's the opposite he means um he was used to have fun when he was around so if you're out there aiden you know where i am cool now we have a, a new comment and this is from the video what is a house carl house carl yeah. house carl well house carl is in the title mm. and this is from tristia and they say give it up for huskar yeah well huskar or houseman um, they were the king's bodyguard, they Indeed. were the elite. Um, even the Arles had to watch what they say around those cars. Uh, very useful in time of war, but uh, could be a bit of a pain in uh, peacetime. Here's your next comment from Evil Witch Sure. Evil, Evil Witch Sure. I cannot express enough how much I love your stories and, and channel. It really is the highlight of my Tuesdays. Well, Oh, uh, yes. As I always say to people, some of my best friends are witches, and I'm glad that we um, help you through the week. Uh, it's you people as well that help us through the week, and it's a highlight of our week to broadcast, which is to mine. And please keep dropping us your comments. Maybe you'd like to subscribe, and we'll be happy to chat with you so oh yes we're always happy to talk to folk blessings on you and coming out of the darkness now i was doing some comment replying last night and i can't remember the commenter and i don't think i better find the comment but they're always asking how do you get over self-pity so do you have any advice for how to get self -pity, over self-pity life will always kick you in the uh, gentleman's vegetables if you're not careful mm. what you have to do is to learn the positive everything's got a positive of course so and you know the old adage how burnt hand teaches best and believe you and me i think a pair of us have had some pretty hairy times in our lives oh, yes things that i wouldn't wish on anybody but you have to learn and the one word i would suggest and I suggest and i'm not a christian forgive if you could forgive 
you can let it go. I mean, I didn't have the particularly brilliant upbringing. Um, there were certain times in my life I could quite happily have not been here. But you forgive because if you don't, they're living up here rent free and that's not good. So learn to forgive. It's not easy, but it's well worth it. Yeah, I apologise. I can't remember the name of the person who mm. said that. I did reply last night in a longer mm. comment, and I basically said, you know, try to remain positive. Positivity mm. is a very powerful thing. Forgiveness. I will get a Thor's hammer, because there's a lot mm. of strength in Thor's hammer, mm. and it will give you strength. But alternatively, I left a, another comment, which will take you to a man called Paul McKenna. Oh. And Paul McKenna is a fantastic chap. He's a hip hypnotist chap oh, and he does one, yeah. psychological things mm. and he has a video of about two hours long on positivity and mm. that really taught me a lot how to be positive and to be a better person in life and to get over those those you know self-esteem and self-pity feelings we're only human beings there is you know yeah, there is a buddhist story i won't go into it, it's too long but it, the central thing is an insult is an insult if you choose to make it so yes if not it's just so much hot air and that will build up your self-esteem you must remember you are unique of course so you're he, special like unique, everybody i'm unique everyone's unique and you have a right to be treated with yes. respect and don't people are rude because they get away with it people downgrade you because they get away with it if you turn and say that is unacceptable they will back down. Yeah, if you have a good friend to talk to, mm. that will also help. I'm lucky I have friends. We're we'll always here yeah. for you. And leave us a comment. And I do hope at some point when we're reading older comments, we'll find that mm. comment and we'll talk about it a little bit more. If but you are depressed, tell somebody. Don't hit, sit there because we don't, well, just tell somebody. Now, another comment from uh, Eric the Red. It Hi. can't be folk tale day already. Big smiley face. Who's love to my brothers for a great story as always? Mm. Right, thank you, Irick. <laughs> name wrong at the beginning. I'm yeah, very tired today. Oh, well, so, Tetto Sagers, the last straw comment. That one. Yes. The last straw probably refers to the legendary straw that breaks the camel's back. Probably. Yes, we forgot that. Yeah, it may well be. It may well be. Um, it's a good story, isn't it, in there somewhere, and I'm no doubt. See, this is something. Yes, we do a lot of European and Scandinavian tales, but the Arabic area, you know, the Arabian Nights and things like that, there's so many stories. Oh, yes, and we are going to get into those. Every society has their own, though, doesn't it? Their own group uh, of stories. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going to read this comment from Tecto Sagers, and I do apologise <laughs> in advance for... Uh, for describing a Nissi as a uh, as a gnome, it's, it's not a gnome, but that is my comparison for the folks that don't understand what a Nissi is. So Tetto says, please, 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 Tomte Nissi, Tomte Nissi, etc. Are not gnomes. No, they are not buggets. They are not buggles, Separate bugbears, thing. fairies, or whatever. Please, they are. They're just not. So, and he sent a link to a, another video from another channel that talks about the Nissi, and uh, yeah. at some point I'll link that into the community tab. Yeah, that'll be sound. So we have a comment here from my very good friend, Adventures with Drain. He writes us music. Excellent chap. Choose and he when. says, so the moral of the story is to be kind mm. to those that help you. Um, yeah. Let's just remember that kindness is free. And hatred and anger will always have a price and a cost to it. Yeah, and it doesn't do any good. No. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. So, and here we go. Comment from Sven. Sven, congratulations on 1K. Thank you very much. Oh, yes, 1,000 subs. You should congratulate yourselves because you guys are the ones that subscribe. Please keep them coming in because, well, <laughs> we want to... We, we enjoy doing this. Oh, we do. And we hope that you do too. We have a bit of back and forth. And uh, we're learning as well. Oh, of course so. Yeah. We always learn. Yeah. And we promise to always film these comment reading videos, yeah. no matter how big or famous we get. Yeah. Although, granted, if we get like 10,000 comments on a video, we may not be able to read all 10,000. 
But we'll certainly try, won't we, Eggle? We certainly will. I'm certainly trying. Yeah. Anyway, we oh, have a comment here yeah. from Joel Kilduff, another oh, yeah. of our Viking brothers. Oh, Joel. Joel. And he says, Hey, old Braggy and Eggle. Yo. Now, we have a comment here from uh, Carland Adams. Mm. And they say, Didn't they have man hunters in that time period? Where a small army of men look for criminals. Criminals? Yeah, I can never say that word. <laughs> Most of the time, it was for reward. Now, in Anglo-Saxon law, there was the hue and cry. Say Bragi had been robbed, he would call his neighbours, and they would literally chase yes. the guy or woman and till they caught them. So, yeah, you know, I mean, the hue and cry is part of it. The punishments, which we can do videos on, up to Tony Robinson's that. Yes. Um, and it seems brutal, but when we do them, I'll explain why they were like they were. But, yeah. So. And that's where the word posse comes from. Mm, possibly, uh, yeah. There is a No, it is. A, no, there's no. a very good follow-up comment, but I can't read it because I can't get a connection to get click into it. But oh, right. uh, Tecto Sega has left a very good follow-up comment on mm. that. And uh, oh, one day we might try to get round to yeah. it. Now we have a, a, a comment here and it says, let you read that one, from Treve Tales. Treve Tales. Hey Broggy, how you going? Are you going clubbing for your birthday? Well, I wouldn't be surprised, he's a bit of a groovy guy on the QT. Well yes, uh, I've not been clubbing for years to be honest. But uh, Last time I went mm, clubbing it was old money. <laughs> oh my god. Oh well, my gods. Mm. So. Um, another comment, and this goes to Celtic God. So, hello Celtic, Yo, how Celtic. are you? Mm. And he says, Braggy, check your emails once in a while. And I did I did check my email, and I have replied, and I'm really looking forward to getting the bone pins you've made for us and needles. Right. So, he's, he's made us some bone pins and needles. Thank you very much for that. Now, we have another comment, I'll let you read it. It's from Alonardo de Silva Ricapontes. That's the name... That guy? Yeah, it's a lady. Okay, okay, ladies. I'm back, guys. Sorry for taking so long to visit you two, but my mind has been anywhere else. I found this subject very interesting. Well, yeah, uh, thank you for coming back. Yes, welcome back. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not panties, it's ponties. Ponties, well, I said um, that. Sorry about that. No, I said uh, ponties. You're an order to sober with ponties. But anyway, thanks for coming back. And leave us a few comments. We'd love to hear what you've got to say. Everybody's important. Remember that. Yes. And we want to hear from you. You're all important, mm. no matter who you are or where you are in Middle Earth. Mm. Now, on the video, which we filmed, I think, in 2017, from the hammer to the cross, Viking conversion Ooh, to Christianity, yeah. uh, we have a comment here from David Gilbertson. Hi, David. It is ironic that the same religion of Christianity, whose people were defeated and murdered in the battle at the church at Lundus Farm, were later the ones whose religion won the hearts of the Vikings and turned them into God-loving men who had hearts for Christ. There's one interesting point with that. The raid on Lindisfarne, okay, the first raid I can understand, but Vambra Fort is four miles away, and it's one of the biggest fortresses in England. And why didn't they, after the first raid, send troops to protect them? There is an argument that uh, being a martyr was um, looked on as a blessed estate, but, uh, you know, a few soldiers may have deterred them. I don't know. I'd like to hear your comments on that. Now, I'll read another comment. This comes from the Belfast Viking, Martin Brown. Hi, Martin. So, hello, Martin. How are you? I'm researching how much bun cakes and dark chocolate in the days up to Christmas that I can eat. Go for it, baby. But talking about Christmas, could you do a video on why the 25th day was picked for Christmas? Well, it's the, the Mass of Christ, which I believe was first celebrated in the year 332. Oh, well, but okay. I could be wrong. This is the guy. And it's a very interesting point, that. Yeah, I have to tell you, I, I've learned something today. I didn't know that. Well, we're always learning on this channel. Uh -huh. Now, I have another comment here from Tecto Sagers. This is a bit of a longer one, and I can't get all the comments because I can't get a signal. Well, oh, yeah. damn you, Internet. It's Loki, the god, playing tricks with us. And he says, um, I'll read what I can out of mm. it. Anyone really interested in the subject 
could do worse than just Google Saxon law codes. Mm. Codified written laws seem to have start with Kentish King Athelbert, modern mm. spelling in brackets, who was the first to write these things down, as opposed to relying on oral traditions. Laws mm. soon fell into three types, the King's Edicts, Common Law, and Practice, and Private Laws, Allowed under Grants, etc. For example, mm. there really is a lot uh, to it than chasing a bloke who's nick your sack down the street. So, and it says these documents mm. list various crimes and, more importantly, their related punishment. I always thought it was King Ina, but I'll stand corrected. But yeah, I mean, this is one of the things that people forget, and I'm glad you brought it up, is that law doesn't, um, it, it's, it's fundamental to society. And whether you're a Saxon, Viking, you still had rules to apply. And uh, thanks for that, Tector. Uh, well, we'll look forward to hearing from more from you, especially when we get the rest of your comment up. Yes, uh, cursed Loki and uh, his temperance of messing up my internet signal. <laughs> I think the um, YouTube goblin has yes. had a go at you. And this is the last comment as we're slowly running out of time and soon Eggle has to go home. And the comment goes to our very good friend from Derby, Thomas Dale. Hi, Tom. And he says, there's no gnome place like home. Oh, dear. I'll go now. Yeah, well, thank you for that, Tom. Thank you, everybody who's written in. We will, of course, be doing more comment videos later on. Later on. Keep sending them in. Keep subscribing. And keep being groovy, all you guys and gals. Oh, yes. Yeah. Share our content. Let mm. your grandmother and your granddad know. Tell your auntie, your uncle. Your cat, your, your dog, your budgie, your Your hamster. best friend. Yeah. Uh, your mate called Dave. Yeah. You've got a mate called Dave. Especially the cat called Dave. Cat called Dave. Dave. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let your girlfriend know, your boyfriend. Um, tell your local vicar. <laughs> Everybody. Your spoon, your fork. Yes. Your egg cup. <gasps> Not the egg cup thing. And if you want to leave any more comments, please do so. And we will potentially read them out in the future. Remember, punch a mouse. Yes.